Scorpio, what is going on, baby? It's it's Mira, it's Shira, it's it's Vera, it's it's Scorpio Red Tarot, and I am back at it one more time to let you know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of August 2020. Show me the money energy season. Yes, goodness. I thank every last one of you, you and you, for liking, sharing, clicking, and subscribing to this video, okay? Um, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies. If there is anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpio Red Tarot, which is Mira, Shira, Vera, only thing you need to do is click the, um, about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list. Reach out to me on Instagram. We can do the video chat reading on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll get you all set up on Google Hangouts and we can do the video reading there, okay? If you would like to send any type of love, support to the page, um, again, you can check out the about tab. Um, thank you again for all of the amazing decks that you guys have sent. We got a few new decks here. Um, um, and just um, you guys have been amazing through the Amazon wish list and just been amazing with supporting and showing love to me, my family and the page uh, throughout this, you know, uh, COVID situation. So I appreciate all of the love and support. And if you would like to support, you can check out the uh, various resources of how you can um, show love on my about tab. All right, so uh, let's give praises and let's give honor to the Father God, you know, to Jesus Father for just bringing us here like we always do. And we're going to find out what's going on with my babies for August. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. Father God, we see like the Olympic rings. Like, we feel like Olympic gold medalists right now. Father God, we feel in a champion spirit right now. Um, I say that because even in a situation where we could have been down, we came up. You know what I'm saying? Even in a situation where we could have cut up, we sat down. You know what I'm saying? Like, things are just completely, just not as expected. Like, what people thought something was going to do, we received the complete opposite. And we are wide open um, in regards to receiving. Uh, many blessings. Um, we've had our season of giving, 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 giving. Now we realize it's our time to receive, you know. Um, it has to be balanced. There can't be giving without receiving and receiving without giving. So it's time for a lot of the things that um, we've been missing to be given back, to be replaced with even better things. So, Father God, I thank you for just allowing us to realize how to calm down, sit down, and just be open to just receiving everything that's supposed to be on our path. So thank you so much for just keeping us close to you, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio for August 2020. Um, we're open to all of the messages that you have and that you would like us to receive so that we could, you know, just be prosperous and our steps moving forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Now let's get on into this here. You know, we got the Archetypes deck shining bright like a diamond. You already know. So let's give a quick shot on. Do a little, with a little muscle. Okay. We want to see what we got going on for my Scorpios for August. Swansy, Swansy. Alright, one more time. What's going on with my Scorpios for August 2020? Thank you so much, Father God. Can you please give us guidance for my Scorpios? Thank you so much. All right. Yes. Here, every what's hold on. Now, I, I'm I'm getting I'm I'm getting the goddamn kiss from a rose song. Why do I keep getting that goddamn song popping in my head? But did I get that song? Was there another sign where this card came out where I got kissed from a rose? Now I'm here. My pleasure, my pain. I don't know the words. I just, like, why? 
why what is going on with this card in the kiss from the rose this is eros i don't know if this was the same card you guys i'm like really trick i'm like having like a deja vu moment right now hold on let me take a sip bitch hold on <laughs> hold on why am i getting i'm getting like a kiss of joy like it's something about like passions being erupted like words i don't know if it's like an energy of someone um whispering sweet nothings into your ears like i feel like whatever this communication is it's like enticing you and arousing you and bringing you up making you feel like the growth and the future longevity because remember diamonds are forever that's why i'm saying growth and future longevity pressure creates diamonds i feel like right now for scorpios you guys have gone through an insane time which we're always going through an insane time an insane season but for some reason like you were being look the kiss from a rose like you were it's like you were being kissed from a rose it's like diamond communication like Diamonds to me, I'm thinking about cardamancy. It means like spirituality. It means information. It means intelligence. It means higher learning, higher education. So whatever you are experiencing, whatever you are listening to, or whatever you're hearing, or whoever is speaking to you right now, is like literally speaking blessings into your existence. It's whatever this information is giving you an abundance of wisdom. And now I'm looking on my uh, spiritual board and I'm looking dead at the um, high pre the words high priestess, faith, and divine timing. So I just like, uh, let me look into the book real quick and just see what the keywords is for this. Because I don't know this card off the top of my head. And that's just what I'm getting. It says love is a desire, eroticism, sensuality. It's something about that melody for like that I, I keep hearing yeah. 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 like that that part of the song is the most beautiful like his the way he sings that part is so beautiful it almost gives me something like someone is I don't know if you're getting some type of communication through a phone or I'm getting a speech. I'm not getting like through no text. Like this has to be through speech, through someone's voice. Like someone's voice. Like every time you hear someone's voice, I feel like it lights your ass up and has you like floating. Now I'm seeing someone like, um, like a ballet dancer, you know, like I'm literally seeing someone skipping around in their living room, literally bouncing around on their tippy toes in a fairy tale listening to kids from a rose like almost float in like they're being a ballerina it says love is a desire eroticism sensuality it says even though eros can be depicted as um a unbridled sensuality and eroticism a more contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy leads us to the root of desire itself what do we long for why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy? Eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, plants, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. Eros allows us to momentarily unite. Our heart embraces otherness. And by doing so, we further understand our own. Our life force awakens. This card reveals an ine inevitable initiation into love's uh, lady rinth. I don't know what the hell that means. You may find yourself swirling in the new territory of desire or sensuality. Explore, what's it, the lady rinth with a curiosity and honest heart. And remember, though the way is... Uh, what though the way is circuitous, I don't know what the fuck that means, neither. You will always be led towards the center. 
When in light, it means passion, playful, sexual health. When in dark, this means madness, projection, or obsession. So when in light, it means passion, playfulness, and sexual health. In dark, madness, projection, obsession. It says, the Hindu goddess, Lalita, she who plays, can help activate Eros energy. She is also known as... The Empress of Desire. I ain't trying to pronounce that. It said Plato reminds us that Eros can be experienced as platonic love. It's an activated. It is activated when we witness beauty and truth in the world. When our barriers soften. Interesting. The, okay. I just heard this is what we're in love for. It's something about the Scorpio energy that we can go in our darkness. And like that literally is like some Scorpio shit, right? Sometimes when we're not vibrating on our highest level, um, we love information. We love searching. We love seeking. We love reading. We love... You know, we love that, and that's where that low vibrational obsession is like we can over, you know what I'm saying? We can overdo something. We can take our passion, and it can't easily turn into an unhealthy obsession, but when in the light, it's like fantasizing, seeing how beautiful something is, gazing at something, like living in the beauty of something Skipping, listening to the music, like I'm just completely being in the essence. Like it's something about some type of information, words, or someone's voice, or something that you're listening to and that you're receiving that has literally researched and reopened the Pandora's box, if you will. Um, I feel like Scorpios. I'm a Scorpio. I love being in love. That's what love is for. There are certain people that are scared and run from love. And there are certain people that literally are the definition of love. And I feel people run from Scorpios because we love hard and we love deep. And we love with meaningfulness and purpose. You know? Um, that side of you has yet been awakened again. Um, it's someone's voice that I feel like you love to hear the sound of this particular voice and it is awakening you it has awakened you I want to go to the life purpose deck next I know I'm, you know supposed to go to the um phantom more side but I am guided to go down the line and um all of the oracles and then I'll do side by side clarification so let's see what Spirit wants us to know about our life purpose right now, Scorpio. And Eros is the major arcana in this archetype's deck. So you got building and then you got energy healing. Why I can't talk energy healing? What the hell is energy healing, y'all? Okay, hold on. So. I typically don't read these cards in the reverse, but with the builder coming in reverse to me, I'm looking at that. You see how this person is seeking and it's like he's looking for a new destination to kind of like build or um, design something like for me. I like I'm a grower. I like to grow vegetables. I like to grow crops and things like that. So for me, it, I'm looking at this as like. Someone's looking for enough space to grow something. It's like you have something in mind. You're using your imagination for like an above ground. Um, what is it like? Like vegetable plot or something that you're trying to do, you know, like a vegetable garden or something that you're trying. It's something that you're trying to build. It doesn't necessarily have to be a vegetable garden, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. It's like someone looking for enough space to design this garden put the little rocks and the little pots and you know little things and the re recycling um what's the thing like the compost pile like everything 
I feel like there's something that you should be initiating right here with this builder card that you haven't really started yet. And you are a builder. You are a creator. Uh, it's, it's something about you haven't kind of taken that step to build something yet. Um... I don't even feel like you've even started looking for the land, looking for the property, looking for like it's something about you've had like a lack of energy into like seeking the correct destination to kind of start this building blocks. This says your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment and maybe you haven't found the correct plot or the correct land to purchase to harness this energy to want to build and create something or whatever um now i'm looking at the word faith and now we're looking at the energy healing card so it's basically telling you to have faith like you're going to find the right property to purchase to build your garden to get your recording studio to start your business to you know like things are going to get up and running I think you just need to kind of focus your energy on getting your creative spark back because it's like you can't build and the right things are not going to cross your path. If I feel like you, there's a lack of faith in something here with this builder card being in the reverse because it's something about you're not even seeking, you're not even looking for it no more and it's something that you know that you need to do and that you need to focus and put your energy on and I think that we need to balance ourselves right now we need to balance ourselves and this is in regards to career and life path your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose and again this has to do with it's something that's not aligned it's something that's not aligned and now that I'm looking at this Eros card with this builder, I feel like in the past this could have been something that you were obsessing over. This is something that you were like in a negative way obsessing over and like things weren't coming into fruition and, and you might have got burnt out and kind of just let it go. But at the same time, I know that this passion still like lives in you. I have to see this this one more time. Because this is still a fairly new deck. I don't know this deck off the top of my head. Oh, gosh. You guys forgive me. It says, in the dark, it means madness, projection, obsession. When in light, passion, playfulness, sexual health. So this could even have to do with, like, lack of... Like, think about it. Like, to me personally, I'm a very sexual person. If I don't have sex, like, I can get very temperamental. I can have attitudes. Like, I, you know, like, I could be a mad woman sometimes. <laughs> I ain't even about to hold you. I'm not even about to fucking hold you. So, it's just like certain things need to kind of be in line for you to kind of get your passion and your innate wanting your ability to kind of want to build again it's something where it's something where they're saying that you lost your obsession about something but to have an obsession about something isn't healthy so let's just say like you might have been seeking information or been wanting to hear a voice or hear a sound or get some spiritual learning out of a situation so much to the point where you were obsessing about it so that's just like because you're trying to look for this alignment and it's like you want to be able to help yourself and help others but you can't build and expound on that because it became obsessive you know to the point where you're burnt out and you don't even know how to pick back up on this mission am i making any sense so you could have just gotten out of a situation where you were trying to start a business, right? And 
your heart and your passion and your energy and you're getting the correct information you're feeling spiritually guided like you're feeling very good about this you have a very passionate desire about it you know you're very sensitive about this because this is something that you love right um but because something here they're saying the crown chakra Look, I feel like the crown chakra wasn't in alignment because they're saying like there was some type of confusion in regards to the way you were obsessing about trying to make this thing work and to get this thing into rotation. Sometimes when you obsess about something, you smother something and you don't allow it to grow. And I feel like because the way you went about using your passion... In a previous way, I feel like you don't know how to restart and to rebuild. But it's like you very much so want to because this energy, this diamond, and it is still encrusted in you. And I feel, I still feel like you're still studying, you're still looking, you're still intrigued by something. But I feel like there's a hesitation on building and beginning on something. You can look into this as business and career. You can look at this as love. You can look at this as like some type of family partnership. You understand? Like, you could have obsessed about trying to build a better relationship with your mother, you know? You could have looked into self-help books. You could have listened to a lot of, like, wisdom and, you know what I'm saying? And you could have obsessed on it so much that it's like you constantly, constantly, constantly coming to it. And you were putting so much energy on it that it kind of backfired because it just, it wasn't a balanced alignment. It was... I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I don't want you guys to just try to take this information as in just love because it don't have just anything to do with that. You got the mask card that came out in the reverse. So it's like you're finally, I feel like taking this persuasive mask on. Um, and what I mean by that is. Sometimes as Scorpios, we put aside our personal feelings, our personal beliefs and things to the side for other people just because we just want to take care of, make everyone feel good, make everything harmonious and things. But we're really masking what we feel inside and... Even, and I'm going back to this, because we can even obsess about just trying to make something right so much that even though it doesn't feel right, we'll put that mask on just trying to fix something and trying to heal something and really not understanding what that crown chakra is that we're hurting ourselves. Am I making any sense? So this says, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So I feel like with this being in the reverse in regards to love and just things that you love in general, I feel like you know now how to use this, this card here in a high vibrational level. It's like something that you love and possess and want. It's like... Again, remember this card says something that you feel separated from. So you can feel separated from success. You can feel separated from your family. You can feel separated from healing. You could be feeling like, man, I've been suffering and been dealing with this wounded energy. So now I want to be healed. And it's something I'm separated for. And that's something that I want so bad. You understand? And... Mm, excuse me. Clarify in regards to situation with the Scorpio heroes, just like purpose. I just feel like in order to like go deep and to find the right location, because I feel like you're, I, I don't even want to say like you're in search for the right location. Um, You got not today. So what this is basically saying to me is you 
what this is basically saying to me is I don't feel like you guys are in a urge to put up your fences and build a new location in your in your safe haven in your home just anywhere. Um this not today card is just saying, yeah, it's it's just not today. Like so with that being said, like Whatever it is that you're dealing with, it's like a, something about not wanting to build, energy healing, getting yourself realigned, still being in this Eros energy where it's like you're very passionate, you are sensually driven, I feel like you're, you're sexual, I feel like you're, you're in like primal sexual energy right now, I feel like you really, really want to lay your roots down and things like that, but you're not willing to put a mask on and hide and say you're comfortable and you're safe to plant roots here when you know it's not a good environment for things to grow and someone may be getting you maybe getting the tail end of your it's like your ego like you're just like i'm not going for that i, I don't you know what i'm saying like I want a certain type of individual or I want a certain type of landscape or I want a certain type of thing. And I feel like there could be some frustration on somebody's end because someone is standing their ground on something and saying not today. It's like, I want this, but I'm not willing to frustrate myself and live in a fit of madness. I, I'm just, just... I'm just not going to build here and I'm just just going to keep moving. I'm not going to put a mask on and I could totally understand this because like this is someone that just don't want to fake anymore. It's like I have know what I did before when I was in this energy and I just wanted love. I just wanted this. I just wanted this so bad because I haven't had it or I've been it's been lost for my life for so long that I was just willing to just lay down my shit and plant roots anywhere and it backfired for me. And I try to save face and be around individuals or play the game in situations where I really wasn't happy and I put a mask on and I really wasn't showing my true feelings and things like that and I'm not willing to do that. I'm still very passionate. I still want this very, very much. But at the same time, I'm not going to let it turn into madness and drive me crazy. Like, I have to be balanced. And I I cannot be scared to tell someone, no, not today. Like, no, you're not the one. Or this isn't an option that's good for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going to continue to move on. Like, I have to. It's something about, because this crown chakra right here on this card. I just keep looking at that crown chakra. It's something about... You guys coming to understanding that you don't have to, you know, like that Papa was a Rolling Stone everywhere he laid his hat was at home. No, I'm not going to lay my hat everywhere and think that that's my home. Like that's like you meeting someone and trying to fall in love and plant seeds and plant roots with every fucking person that you meet, thinking that that's the one. Like no, I know to look around and. When I plant roots and when I lay my hat, I'm dedicated there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm purchasing this house. I'm not a renter. I'm a buyer. Do you understand? Like, I'm a renter. I'm a buyer. I'm not searching for something to rent. I'm searching for something that I can lay long roots. That I can really express myself sensually, sexually. Like, I'm open. I'm ready to experience this. I'm ready to experience that, but I'm not willing to experience it with just anybody. Or I'm not willing to just engage and get myself contractedly bound to just anything. I'm not going to put a mask on. I'm being blunt, you know. So, this not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person, boundaries, still angry. So, with this not today and this mask being in the reverse, there could have been somebody that could have got a rejection um, there could have been someone that got a rejection and, and like the mask, look, mask off, like something like, I don't want to build something with you, you know, something is not working. Like it's, it's some type of way. It's something that's not being built and something that's not being, I mean, that's being rejected because 
this person knows how passionate they are and they know where they're going and they know what they want and I feel like they're very focused and balanced on using their energy in an appropriate way and it's not about just building just having anything it's not about just having anything I'm just I want one more in the middle for this with Scorpio it's like I'm passionate but I I'm staying in the light. I'm not going to obsess about something because it just creates madness. And I have to be selective where I lay my roots. Just bottom line. What is it says? Love. Exactly. Like this Scorpio loves their self. And they're dedicated to loving their surroundings and everything that's around them. So I can't be fake with this mask in the reverse. I can't be scared to tell people not today. I'm sorry. Like I don't want to purchase this property no more i've looked around and i've been like honestly like this is even like just saying like i'm still searching i'm still looking for other properties i'm still looking for other places like i appreciate you showing me this location and everything but i'll get back to you because because i'm definitely going to check other options because I just, it, it's something about this is like a dedicated, hardworking builder. Um, they really love what they do um, and they're very passionate about what they do. It's not about anything and everything. It's about quality and longevity and just bottom line. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Again, this person wants something that... When they wake up in the morning, they're going to love going to their job. They're going to love when they wake up in their house, how their bedroom looks, how their bathroom looks. When they walk through their house, their hallway, their kitchen. Like, have you ever moved to a new place? And it's like, you fucking love your new house. Like, you love your new environment. You love getting up, going to your job. You love your co-workers. You love your social life when you get off of work. You love your, like, sexual life. Like, you love waking up to the person that you've been dealing with sexually. You feel like this is going in the right direction. Like, you just love your life, you know? And it's like, I can't get to this point and express myself like this if I'm scared to tell people no you're not the one or this is not the right opportunity for me or this doesn't fit my life and I'm being fake I cannot be fake I have to be balanced and again I'm not going to obsess over things like that I'm just going to live in my place of love and allow these things to just flourish itself on me bottom line so let's get into the clarification Let's clarify this builder in the reverse, please. What advice do you have for this building? Because I feel like just keep looking. Like, never stop searching. Never give up. That's what they're telling me. It's like, you have the ability to, like, really, really shake some things up and to do something amazing. But, again... Do not limit your options. Do not get tired. You know what I'm saying? The four of pentacles in the reverse. And then the eight of wands in the reverse. So this is, okay. So in regards to the building situation. Like the building situation is because there could be a lack of resource and not positive communication. Not necessarily what you want to hear. So like... I'm gonna put I'm gonna break this down like dating. So you all revved up, right? You could easily be listening to some music that got you sexually open. You listening to all these songs. You're like, man, I want look. <laughs> okay, listen, I want me some thick. I want me some uh. Like, I'm tired of listening to this music. I want love. You understand? I want love. Okay, bitch. I want love. Listen, my energy and my chakra is all aligned. Look, I'm ready for the right type of communication that comes to me. However, the type of people that have been communicating with you is like a lot of drunk. Because like the eight of wands in the reverse can mean just people that are coming to you with not full stories and they're not telling you everything and it can lead to a whole bunch of drama. It's like missing in, in, or incomplete information with the four of pentacles in the reverse it, it means like this person could want you to give too much or you'll have to give out too much and you could feel like it'll turn 
sour very quickly because you know you'll have to put out too much or um someone isn't is like overselling themselves and they might not be able to um it might not add up to what they're saying it's going to add up in the end so like this could be fraudulent communication that's going to like that's a scam or something like that like that's what i'm getting so it's like because you're so passionate you're so energetic about um like this could even be like you might be exuding sexual energy right now and so like someone that you're talking to right now is just shooting the shit with you just trying to like build on falsehoods fallacies and in lies you you know what i'm saying like this person really don't have no money or whatever the hell they keep communicating to you can be complete <laughs> fucking foolishness and you know or people could it's like people this is like some type of slander as well this is like this is like some type of slander as well. I'm getting some type of slander. So, this is what I'm getting right here, Scorpio. Because now this is some tea. This is some drama coming out. So, this could be a situation where you very much so. So, you started talking to someone, right? It could have been a business deal or a love situation, right? And the communication could have been coming in real fast. But you were a little skeptical about the situation. So, Cause it seemed like something where you would have to give too much. And it's like, listen, I only got these little four pinnacles and shit like that. I'm trying to save my money. I'm trying to hold on to what I got. Like, I'm very skeptical about just giving all that I got. I got like out front. Like this is someone that's just wanting you to spend on them. Spend a lot of time. Could be like a, a, a needy individual or something like that. And like the eight of wands could be someone like, Telling you a whole bunch of stories to make you believe whatever it is that's going on. And what, like a whole bunch of drama, it, you know, to make you give, 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 give. Where you're not watching, you're spending and you're doing too much or something like that. And you caught on to it and you said, hold on, bitch. I'm coming out the pocket a little bit too much or I'm having to babysit or cater or do too much or like I can't focus my energy and grow and build if I'm always having to take care of cater to you you know what I'm saying like I'll never have anything nothing will never grow I'll never be able to focus on my business so you could have cut ties with a certain situation that you were going to do business with or you were in a relationship with or something like you felt like it was getting in the middle of your money your savings your time your value whatever it was you knew that if you continue to do with that Everything that these people were saying wasn't like these people oversold their self. They're not going to be able to live up to it and you're going to be asked out and something in your spirit told you to beware and not to build here. Not like you've already spent too much money. Do not go forward because this is lies like this isn't truth that is being told here. Right. So you said, I, listen, I can't even fake. Yes, I'm very passionate. I'm very open to these news experiences. And, like, I'm ready to get things going. But I cannot fake and act like I'm happy with the way that you're rolling out. How much I have to put into this. And I don't necessarily believe everything that you're telling me. So, I'm sorry. Just, like, not today. You know what I'm saying? I know you're going to be upset with me. But I don't think that this is going to work. I don't. I don't. Mm, I just, I just, I don't think that this is going to work. I cannot lie to you. I'm not going to fake because I'm only going to be hurting myself at the beginning. And at the end of the day, I am going to be the one that's broken ass out of money. Because only thing you were coming to was a whole bunch of dreams. Like this could be someone selling someone dreams because they see that this person wants love desires love that they're focused on love that they are loving their stuff there's like something about you that is just like exuding this sexuality this sensuality this urge this desire to you know everything you're talking about is like yeah oh i want a piece of this you know what i'm saying but something in your spirit told you to don't do it do not do it do not do it and you know like sometimes people can get upset because they're rejected um you could you you could have stopped talking to them because you felt like the payout wouldn't have been worth it 
or they were doing too much or doing too little or they didn't have enough money like it's like these people like you don't even have enough money to put into this investment so like i cut you out i don't want to do business with you i'm not talking to this person no more and it could be some slander you know what i'm saying like they could be lying right now saying oh well this person ain't, ain't stop talking to me i stopped talking to them because oh this motherfucker you know like you can literally be saying scorpio you're broke and you're not able to invest in the situation what i want to you know you're not able to invest in the situation to make it equal i would have to put out too much so i'm going to back out this person could be literally running around right now saying you're not talking to them right now or they're not talking to you right now because you're broke because you said that you couldn't do this because of some financial reason but the real reason why you said you couldn't do it is because they're broke and you don't want to take care of them because you don't want to end up broke because of their lack thereof and they're trying to spin the narrative like you know they ain't dealing with you because you ain't got shit you know because it could be some type of slander look the queen of swords in the reversal you most definitely did cut someone out I, I feel like you didn't even it's like I, it's no hesitation i don't have to lie or have to make myself um i feel like you might have felt bad for lying i feel like you might have felt bad for lying to someone about a situation because whatever it was it was something that was unnatural for you like i said the mask it was something that you are not willing to put on and you said not today you're so focused on your self-love and you know that you can continue to generate that and it's like i'm not going to stagnate my ability i'm just going to cut you out i'm not even going to build here i'm just going i'm just going to keep going you know what i'm saying i have to be a person of truth and honesty and i have to keep myself pure and like I don't want to have to get nasty with you, but I will tell people the truth because you're not going to slander my name. And it's like, it's something I really do feel like someone may be gossiping or maybe saying something that might not be true about this Queen of Swords right here. Um, because they didn't like what she had to say because she was being too blunt. You got the Knight of Cups right here. So the Knight of Cups is like basically someone trying to communicate and give you some type of love offer trying to um seduce you trying to reel you in the new beginnings with the ace of wands you got the two of pentacles the balance you got the queen of cups you got the tower in the reverse you got the will of fortune in reverse and then you have the ace of swords so i need to separate this here thank you so much because this queen of cups here like she's focused on her children and she's trying to avoid something you know and it's like okay this this queen of cups she's she's trying to avoid something if it, it's like a situation where maybe like she could have waited for someone to come uh, she's been focusing on herself, taking care of her home, her children, just being a good mother, it seems like. Um, this seems like something that's unrepairable because with that tower being in the reverse, it's like, I almost knew that you weren't going to get yourself together or that you weren't going to come or that you were going to keep me waiting or the wait was going to be too long or I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, this is the truth. This is the truth. It's like, I feel like someone, I feel like this woman had to tell this, tell someone the truth because she couldn't build there. She has to focus on her children. She has to focus on her home. Like this is something that is, it's just not repairable. We've tried to re-strategize, work something out so many times that it has so many cracks in the foundation. You just need to demolish it and just try to rebuild something. So, you know, you could, you could, like, this woman could be tearing down a structure and just not even try to build. You know what I'm saying? It's just not, it's not worth the work. It's, again, waiting so long for something to show itself relevant. You know, waiting for some type of relevancy, some type of 
I don't know why I'm getting like some type of show of character. Um, Cause to me, like the three of wands, I take the three of wands as a competition too, because I'm seeing like two competitors and a referee. You know, I'm seeing two people competing with each other and someone in the middle with a refer with a with their own wand like fight and and like separating people or something. It's something about I feel like this person trying to give someone a chance after chance after chance to show up to come to work one time to do something and it's like this person continually it's like the tower in the reverse is someone not surprised that the three of wands that someone didn't show up or someone's taking a long time. The ace of swords is the truth. It's something being revealed. It's like something that you can't tell me didn't happen because I witnessed it. It's like facts. It's like some evidence or something like that. Like you didn't show up or you didn't do something like... Now, I was waiting. Everyone seen me do it. So, like, you can't get mad at me because I'm telling you the truth and I'm using the sword with you. Like, I'm focused on me right now. I'm Like, I'm focused on me. Again, with this Queen of Swords, I really, again, feel like she might have cut a suitor out and he had to run away. Because you see how he's looking back and he's looking at a girl that really ain't trying to take no shit and... I really like because it's 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 whatever because I feel like someone was telling was trying to sell their self with some false information. It's like yes, this person is trying to come and offer um a luxurious experience or something like that. Like um the Knight of Cups can be someone like, hey, Coming to coming to you with this offer of something like you're gonna love this. We're gonna be able to start something brand new. Like um, I got this new plan for this business that we're gonna do. Or we can go and move here, and we're gonna be happy. And I got this job, and I just this and that, and everything's gonna be balanced. And you're gonna take care of me, and I'm gonna take care of you. We're gonna take care of each other. But it's like she is. It's like she don't believe it or. It's, it's she, she don't, it's, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, not today, not today, not today, let's clarify this, give me one card on arrows, and let's do two cards on the love, one card on arrows, thank you, so we got the four cups, so the four cups means that possible rejection of, of, of something that is being offered. So again, um, I feel like this is someone, again, that was being rejected, that told, I don't think this is a good uh, work opportunity. I don't feel like this is going to work out between me and you. Like this is not a good place for me to plant grassroots. And I feel like someone may be a little bit bummed out because I just don't feel like they're equipped or they're suited for something. It's just like they're not suited for something. It's like they don't show up for work one time. Like they leave someone waiting. They're not trying to get their self together. And I feel like someone got cut off and shooed away a little bit because one person would have been putting up too much. It's like this someone would have been putting out 75% of the work. And in the in the long run, this person knows that I'm gonna end up quitting this job or I'm gonna end up finding somewhere else to go in the long run. So it's no point on me. Like that's like you because of the pandemic, you gonna go get a an essential worker job. You gonna go, mind you. You used to being a, a a lawyer, but just to get some income coming in, you about to go work at Popeyes. Like bitch. Like you know. I, I, like I, I'm sorry. Let me just keep going. It's like it's not. It's not. It's no purpose in me even doing that. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. You got the higher fence. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, she's she's climbing in the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So what this is basically saying in regards to this Scorpio person. Um, again, this person is looking for something that is going to last for a long time. There is something about 
this situation where it was not balanced. It wasn't balanced. And I don't know if Scorpio jumped out there and um, looked into, because the Hierophant is like a contract. It's an agreement. So this agreement here was something that Scorpio knew very quickly. Um, I'm going to end up taking a financial loss. Like this information might not be legitimate. I need to read through. I need to get to the bottom line. I need to read through the fine print. Like it's something about this contract that. I don't know if it's renegotiable. I don't know if I'm going to get what I want out of the situation. That's why it's like. I, I feel like Scorpio feels bad about telling someone like I'm sorry, but I, I reject. I I don't see this working because this I'm looking at this agreement here, you know, and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm trying to climb to the top, and at the end of the day, um, I have a lot invested, you know, like. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, she would have to go up in her tree to go into her savings to balance the books or something like that. Listen, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, again, is someone waiting on something, um, being patient. So this is someone being impatient with waiting on the investment return on something. It's like overturned it's like sale st stale it, like didn't grow you didn't get the inv like you lost you lost out on this investment it's like you know what i'm saying not paying attention not balancing your books correctly where you're having to reach into your savings account to break even on certain things and it's like if i keep having to reach into my savings account instead of money coming in where i could put it in my nest egg i'm taking it out of the nest egg so, again, like, I, I got to reject. Like, I got, like, the Queen of Pentacles, she knows better. She knows how to balance her checkbook. She knows how to look through contracts. She knows how to make things grow. Period. Bottom line. Like, if it's not going to end up in the end with me reaping reward for all my hard work and everything and my skills because the you know seven of pentacles means skills you know what i'm saying like you put in a whole bunch of hard work somewhere and someone shorted you on your paycheck like that's basically what is coming down and you haven't gone your savings to pay your bills because your paycheck is short do you understand what i'm saying not today Unconditional love for thine self. I focus on my family, my children. I can't be scared to tell people the fucking truth. And I'm not about to sit here and wait. Like, you're not about to. Because with this three of wands in the reverse, it's like I'm not about to compete. And I'm not about to sit here and wait for someone to show up in my life when I can show up for myself. Like, I don't need no one to carry me across the bridge. Bitch, I'll go by myself. I'll call an Uber. You know what I'm saying? So this is like, you could have been waiting for someone to pick you up so that you can go start a new life somewhere and this person was taking too long and you just said, well, you know what, fuck up. I knew this person wasn't going to show up because this person has shown me many times before that they're not responsible or reliable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to focus on me and my kids. So, like, I just got to, I called me and my kids to ride by myself. Like, I can't, like, I can't. Like, I'm not about to sit here and wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, as if I was to sit here and wait, I would be a fucking fool. And that's the dead-ass truth. You know what I'm saying? To wait for... A short check. I don't want that. But like, I don't want that. And it's something about. I'm not about to fake and act like I do want it. Even though you going to cuss and fuss and scream. And rail me out. Because I'm telling you the truth. And I'm telling you that you're not. You're not cut for this. Like you're not cut for what I'm looking for. Like you're not. Like you're not cut. Like I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying. And it's something about. Whoever this was that was trying to offer whatever it was to the Scorpio, I feel like they knew it was a possibility of them being rejected. Because with this Ace of Wands in the reverse and this Hierophant, it's like, I don't know 
because the ace of wands can be some travel i don't know if it was like a travel delay or a travel restrictions or a blockage or something but it's like someone didn't show up one time to their commitment so again i don't know if it's someone not showing up to an obligation one time like something that is something that they're lacking they're not showing up they don't have enough money i don't know if it's that someone didn't show up to an engagement a work obligation or a business obligation or a love obligation because they didn't have money to get somewhere like in order for them to get somewhere, like, just, you know, the Queen of Pentacles would have to go balance her checkbook and give them money to pay to get to this location. And she realized, man, I paid the last six, seven times for you to get here. I don't have no money to keep paying for this shit. You know, maybe this relationship isn't working out because you don't have enough money to afford to date me. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that. It's something like that. It's something like that. And I just feel like with this Knight of Cups right here, um, I feel like this person came with good heart and good intentions, like le legitimately wanting to start something new and something to grow and for there to be some level of balance. But for this woman, this... You know, Queen of Swords being in the reverse, I felt like she was lying to herself. She wasn't being honest to herself. Um, I don't feel like, because with this mask, I don't feel like she was being honest to herself. I don't feel like she was being honest to this suitor. I feel like this suitor probably really did want something to be balanced and something to be even and things. But this person, I don't feel like they were financially equipped or in some type of way skillfully equipped for this woman to want to build here unfortunately and yeah she would have to go into her bag too much and just not today and I feel like someone is most definitely upset because this woman is unconditionally loving herself and she's just not willing to put herself in a commitment like that but she's going to constantly end up getting the she or he's going to get the short end of this stick it's like i already know that this property is a pitfall like this is a lemon this is a pitfall like i'm not i'm not about to do that but right here i fit in it also on a very spiritual and intellectual level i feel like Whatever this is that this woman is saying, um, it may be a hard truth for someone to swallow. Like, they are not equipped for something. Like, I, I can't get into this contract with you because I feel like I am going to... Um, like, you're going to be outbidded. Like, just bottom line. Like, you don't, you know... I feel like that that might be some hard information for someone to hear but I feel like this might be something that someone needed to hear someone needed to take their mask off and just like stop holding back the truth you know because this one right here was holding back the truth because she sees that this person is legitimately trying to come and trying to balance things but like she knows that I feel like this person is just saying what she wants to hear Because the Eight of Wands is lies to me. The Four of Pentacles is someone that doesn't have any savings, doesn't have any investment, not paying attention to how much they're spending and just giving out too much, being too fucking open. You know what I'm saying? And I just, like, not today. I'm not being open like that today. I'm not, no. Nah. Like, you don't even have no way to get to me, to the to this obligation. Like, if I got to pay for you to get here, I got going on. This, that shit ain't going to work for me. So, like, you need to get yourself together. Someone needs to get their financial thing in order in order to offer um, a type of commitment like this to the Scorpio. Because I feel like the Scorpio is not looking to just build anywhere. They're open. And I feel like it's something the Scorpio is very energetic and lively and open for love and just 
all of that good shit but they're smart enough that they ain't about to just build anywhere they're carefully looking at everything you got the queen the only thing that Scorpio is not doing, you got the Queen of Pentacles, you got the Queen of Cups in the upright, but you got the Queen of Swords in the in the reverse. I feel like by Scorpio holding their tongue and not and, and, and saving face to not hurt other people again is hurting their self and they got to take the mask off. And regardless, these people going to scream and shout because, yes, I know what you about to tell them hurts that, you know, you're not interested. But at the end of the day, like. If you don't be blunt and tell people the truth, you're lying to yourself and you're lying to them. And you need to show unconditional love to yourself and to them. And hopefully they'll get themselves together. And if they don't, that's their fucking problem, Scorpio. Only thing you can do is tell them the truth. Focus on your money and your bag and your family like you're focused on your children, your bag and your family. And being able to emotionally give freely and abundantly to them. I can't do that if I'm putting on a mask. Listening to shit that I... I no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I will make myself look like an absolute motherfucking fool. And then on the flip side, my ass going to be in complete madness. And obsessing. And projecting energy. And all of this crazy shit. Because I let my passion and my desires. Again, this could be sexual desires. Like you could be very open and sensual and passionate. And have sexual desires. And you want to have sex. And you want to be intimate with someone. But I don't want to be intimate with just any motherfucking body. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Point blank. Bottom line. So... I'm, I'm down for but I ain't down for just anybody. So, Scorpio, if this video resonated, y'all hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you guys want to book a reader with me, you know what to do. Peace.